The trade deadline is quickly approaching, and today the Blue Jackets did make a move. I'm joined right now by General Manager Yarmo Kekalainen. Yarmo, you were able to acquire Mark Letestu. You got him in exchange for a fourth round pick. Hey, Mark. Hey, guys. How you doing? Welcome back. Good to see you. How are you, How are you doing? Good to see your wife's happy, huh? She's thrilled. Yeah. Welcome back. Glad to hear it. Last time I saw you here, it was the exit meetings. It is, yeah. Sitting in the electric chair. Yeah, right there. <laughs> yeah. So, you excited or what? Pumped. Yeah. Forget about on ice. I've just heard some great things about his character. Uh, so that that's that's a really good thing for us right now as we go down the home stretch. It's a long day, uh, you know, and it, I didn't do anything uh, physically, but just the emotions and the anxiety around it and all that, and then the anticipation of being here, it felt like I got hit by a truck. Walking to the rink and, and coming through the doors here, and even meeting security again, uh, knowing everybody's name, just really, really comfortable. About nine nine thirty, got got a, the hotel phone rang, uh, and it was. Uh, Edmonton's team services guy told me to call Peter, uh, so I called him and he told me I was going to Nashville. Uh, so for five to ten minutes I thought I was going to Nashville, uh, but then my phone rang and it was Yarmo, which was odd. Uh, but then he had told me kind of what was going on and where I was headed. And uh, You're on the plane at 1.30 Pacific time, you're here at 10.30 Eastern and, and here this morning. So it's, it's been uh, busy, but a good kind of busy. I know you uh, talked to the brass this morning. What did, what did they express in terms of what they want from you? You know, it really wasn't uh, that kind of a conversation. It was more of a, more of a welcome, you know, than anything. Uh, you know, they're, they got work today, if you haven't noticed. So. <laughs> A little bit after 10 o'clock Eastern today on Trade Center. We waited four hours and change last year for our first deal, not nearly that long as Ian Cole traded for the second time this weekend, this time from the Ottawa Senators to the Columbus Blue Jackets. The Vancouver Canucks are uh, trading Thomas Vanek to the Columbus Blue Jackets in exchange for Tyler Mott uh, and UC Jokinen. Three, two, one. Open their mics. Welcome to the NHL trade deadline. I'm Bob McKelly along with Jody Shelley here on Jackets TV and a very important day for the Columbus Blue Jackets who did not stand pat in this trade deadline. They made some moves. Uh, we want to give our team the best possible chance to make the playoffs. I think adding the, uh, the veterans that we added today and yesterday will give us a better chance. Yeah, it's been a wild day, that's for sure. Yeah. Wild day. You got to get all this stuff out. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Tell me what. Good. Good. Got your hands full. Yeah, no worries. I don't want to dance with a bunch of sticks. It's a wild day, huh? Wild day for you. <laughs> All right. You know, I haven't haven't really talked to the, to the coaching staff yet. Just kind of rolled in and, and got my uh, got my uh, shorts and t-shirts. So certainly excited to uh, you know to be here. And like I said, it's a great hockey team. So uh, excited to be a part of it. We be best friends soon enough. <laughs> I think this will be an interesting night. Washington Capitals, top of the Metro. That team that's, uh, well, they've had their way a little bit with the Blue Jackets this season. So this will be an exciting game for the Blue Jackets before they head out west. Testo. He scores! Welcome back, Mark! 3 1! That's the way to earn the respect of some of the guys in the room, to contribute right away. Tonight was, if it's any indication, uh, you know, we, we've got a pretty good standard that was set, and you know, it's something to hold us to now. And Vanek is in. Denver is he just going to meet you out in California? He's going to meet us in uh, in California. He, there's no chance he could get here. It took a while, but eventually I found out I was going to Columbus, and uh, here I am. I've been through it before, so I guess uh, I wasn't too worried about it anymore. I think I, I packed accordingly. Let's just say that. guys that you know it's just it's a more comfortable situation to come in I can talk on the bench and not 
you know, feel like I'm stepping on anybody's toes. Shoot the puck. Shoot the puck. Yeah, their D aren't that quick. You can kind of roll them. Shoot the puck. Right yeah. Personally, I try to make myself a good partner. Uh, try to do a lot of talking. Try to um, talk guys through plays, not just him, but, but everybody. I didn't expect Columbus, so to come back here with the position they're in to go make a playoff run, feels like a lot of the heavy lifting's already been done, uh, so I get to come in here and kind of cherry pick and really help push uh, into the playoffs. Yeah, I'm really happy to be here and help this team out and um, make a run for it. It's not the well, if we're going to make the playoffs, it's when we're going to make the playoffs and when we're going to win the first round and when we're going to win the second round. So, uh, you know, having that, that, that confident mindset is, is certainly something that helps uh, down the stretch. Steps away from Braun, back up high here for Cole. Traffic there, shot, and a goal! Ian Cole, his first as a Blue Jacket. Yamo did a hell of a job in where I think he added some really good pieces. Yeah. And we really don't lose uh, our assets, and we've added people to some situations, our penalty killing, our power play, yeah. uh, a little bit of leadership in the room that's going to help us. I'm not sure we, where we sit in the first week of April, at the end of the first week of April, but Yarmo certainly gave us a better opportunity. You want to go uh, high or low? You want to go high or low on the weak side? When a management group goes out and adds guys, it gives a boost. Uh, when you bring in veteran guys that have had a measure of success or, or have some sort of notoriety in the league, it signals that we're going for it. It's on us now as the players. Management did what they could do, and on us now as players to, to go out and get the job done.